I had never been to Israel before. Everything was new to me. The first thing I would note is that the initial consultation was quite extensive. It lasted several hours and went late into the night. The doctor wanted to know not only about my current condition, but much of my past history. Had I been exposed to loud noises, to chemicals, to toxic agents? Uh, what were my relationships with other family members? How was this condition affecting me emotionally, mentally, physically? It was so late that he agreed to take me back to my apartment. So I was impressed with the patience and diligence of the initial consultation. I had never seen that before with any physician in my lifetime. Um, the next thing I would like to talk about is the style and approach that Dr. Shemesh takes with his patients. In my opinion, it is unique. He believes that it is important to treat each patient individually and create a customized approach. After thousands of patients over many, many years, he believes that each patient requires individual attention and analysis. And he also believes that this kind of condition requires creating a working relationship with a patient. That takes time. It takes a lot of discussions and a lot of feedback. On the part of the patient, I soon came to realize that it requires a sense of commitment and discipline that you have to have when you go into it and that you must retain. Discipline to see the, the doctor on a regular basis, discipline to take the dosage and medications as specified. Uh, there's a routine that you must follow that you cannot deviate from. And uh, again, a dedication on both parties to results. I also came to realize that the doctor's commitment extends even beyond the time that you spend in Israel. My initial intention was to stay here about five or six weeks. He told me that he could not predict in advance how long this might take, but I thought that might be an appropriate length of time. I extended it to a full three months. First, because I had the time available, and secondly, because I felt I wanted to give this every possible opportunity to be successful. Today I am nearing the end of the third month. In a couple of weeks I am returning back to the States. I can now share with you the results to date. My tinnitus has improved to the point where the sound level is probably somewhere between 70 and 80 percent lower than when I arrived. I have been taking his medications faithfully and I believe it is paying off. I will continue to take medication after I leave for an indefinite period of time. It may be several months. I will continue to communicate with Dr. Shemish by email, by cell phone. I will continue to take follow-up blood tests so that he can monitor indicators and we can continue this treatment uh, until we get the full benefits. It's entirely possible that I may eliminate this entirely. We don't know yet, but that is our objective. The final thing I would like to say is that this experience has been dramatic, traumatic, and meaningful. Uh, I am 64 years of age. I have never had any physical, mental problems before. I have always been in good condition. And this has affected my attitude to
toward life and toward helping other people. It is my intention to establish a foundation or some sort of nonprofit organization that would have two objectives. One objective is to educate and inform people about the dangers of exposure to noise and the dangers of hearing loss, which I have come to realize is virtually an epidemic in an industrialized state like the United States. We live in a world of extreme noise, whether it's from where we work, from music and concerts, iPods, shotguns and firearms. We are surrounded by extreme noise and we are not aware of its impact. I believe exposure to noise caused my hearing loss. I believe my hearing loss set the stage for my tinnitus. If I can help anyone to prevent that, I am ready to spend whatever time is left in my life doing that. My second objective is to enable people to receive treatment, medical treatment for a medical condition. And that means helping them come to Israel to see Dr. Shemesh and receive the benefits of his care. I know I've covered a lot of material here. You may have a lot of questions. I'm going to leave my email address with you on this video. Please do not hesitate to contact me. I am more than happy to make myself available to each and every person who does so. Thank you very much.